I'm on. Hey, how's it going guys? It's Garrett and uh, what you just saw was a little snippet from our trip this week. It was one of the best trips we've had all year, uh, without a doubt. We, we caught eight different species, anywhere from, from small fish like white pogies and, and vermilion or mingo snapper, uh, all the way to a 30 pound blackfin, a really nice mahi, and obviously the, the target of this, of this trip, which was amberjack. So amberjack is not my favorite fish to eat. Uh, in fact, it's probably my least favorite fish out of anything that we catch regularly to, to eat. Um, they, they get a lot of worms. They're, they kind of seem to lose their freshness faster than other fish, if that's possible. I'm just not a big fan. So what we're doing today is actually a catch and cook of amberjack. And we're turning uh, one of my not so favorite fish into uh, a really, really nice dish that I, I feel like anyone would like. Um, but first, we're going to watch a couple highlights. Hey guys, we got visited by Halftail. He's a locally famous dolphin, a uh, locally famous beggar. You can, see can his see? tail. I don't know how well you can see in the water, but he has got half a tail. Um, so he's resorted to begging for scraps, which we're not going to give because that's against the law. Um, no. But other boats might oblige him, so go on and go visit someone else, my guy. Here's what we're working with. It doesn't look like much, but... Oh, that's radar right there. doesn't look like much, but we're in 300 feet of water, so... Fish aren't going to look big. I just lost a... Uh, Maybe a keeper, AJ. Yeah. Oh, done by that. Woo! Here's the film. Oh, I mean, you want the... Woo hoo! That's it, John. You want, you want the butt? No. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. He said no. Just in case. Autumn, do you know how deep to go? I'm just going to. They're, they're all up and, oh, all up and down. Get... Oh, we missed the eyes. Look at that. Oh gosh, oh, two gosh. of them. Hey mom, take one. What is it? Oh. He missed eyes, eyes feeding it, or I did, someone did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a decent fish. Hey, come up top so you can get a little more leverage. Uh -oh. Autumn. Oh. Aw, man. Autumn's on. Yes, Autumn. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, go. Oh. He's pulling it. How tight can I make it? No, no, pa not past strike. Can I? Leave it there. Just leave it there. Save your jig, John. John, John, er, Garrett, he's like steadily pulling it. Yeah. No, that's as tight as you. Kill. It's $20 that we just. Yeah, that's freaking. It's okay. Autumn's I'll donate. I'll bring donate this one. People. I don't, I don't know if you check that drag, but he was he's pulling pretty good. He's gonna strip me. No. <laughs> you just gotta find him. That's where yep. it's at right now. There's there's not much for him to cut you off on, so. He's a long way down too. Yeah. <laughs> You're probably gonna need a break. Woo! That a girl. Oh, everything you just. Got on him. He just took in a little more. <laughs> you got it, mommy. Come on, fight him. Pull. He can't. You can. You can try to turn his head. When, when he's pulling drag, you can. You can try to turn him. Right there. Right there. Uh, All right. Garrett's taking over now. We're gonna gaff him. I don't know if he's a keeper. Obviously, I didn't feel him. He's a keeper. At the beginning. Let's see. Autumn, watch your leg. Let's see. What we Autumn, got. Autumn, watch your leg. <laughs> this drag is silky smooth. Yeah. It's too smooth. It's scary. It feels like it's so loose. <laughs> I 
don't see no color yet. No, I was all the way at the bottom. <laughs> Where's the color? Oh, 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 oh we seen something, we seen something? Close. We're pretty close, he's doing this thing. It doesn't help, I have to pee. <laughs> right there on the bottom. Now, oh, there's some color. Not an amberjack. It's not an amberjack? It is. It is. He's about dead. Come on, dude. There he is. There he is. Be smooth. Be smooth. Coming up to the knot here. Ooh, nice. He should be good. He should be good. Oh, yeah. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Look at that. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Where did it go? Hang on. Hang on. Careful. Hang on. Let me deep. Let me unhook it. Okay. Nice job. Nice teamwork. Drop it. Drop it. Take one of me and get it together. Gotta take him off the gas. No. That's awesome, guys. <laughs> Just to be sure, I know he's a keeper, but hang on. Yeah, always. No, he's he's 40 probably. That's a beast. Yeah, he's pretty much, he's 38. So that was just a little snippet of what we caught this week. Uh, I'm going to upload a full video later showing everything. It, like I said earlier, it was one of the best trips all year. Um, we even had a sailfish um, on, on top just going crazy. So it's a really awesome trip, great conditions, but let's get into cooking. Like I said earlier in the video, amberjack is not one of my favorite fish to prepare or eat. So what we're doing is blackening it, serving it with zucchini, brown rice, and a remoulade sauce. This is taking on a distinctively Cajun influence and brings out a lot of bright flavors uh, that will suppress the negative side of the amberjack, in my opinion that is. So you should be seeing the ingredients on screen. Uh, we are not worrying about measurements today. We're more or less playing this by ear or by taste um, and figuring it out along the way. So the first thing we're doing is prepping our zucchini. This is relatively straightforward. I like mine sliced long glaze. Most people like medallions, but either way, we're going to slice those up, drizzle with olive oil, apply some salt and pepper, and set aside. We're going to be roasting these at about 350 for 20 minutes uh, whenever we're ready. Next, we're going to be prepping our rice. This is relatively simple. I have a rice cooker and it's kind of fire and forget, but you may have stovetop instructions to deal with uh, if, if you don't have a rice cooker. Next, we will be making our remoulade. So I have an emulsification blender. Uh, this also works with a food processor, but either way, we will be pouring two eggs into a bowl, a glass bowl. Uh, and emulsifying that and then adding a mustard of our choice. I prefer Dijon. I did about a tablespoon and a half. Um, it's always easy to add more. So start on the on the smaller side and, and you can always add more. So then we're gonna be adding salt and pepper and then a little bit of apple cider vinegar to add some bright acidic flavors. Once that's done, we're going to slowly drizzle oil into the mixture with the emulsification uh, on and we will slowly drizzle oil until it thickens up to the desired consistency that we want. This may take some time, you know, be patient, just keep that blender running, and eventually you will get to the consistency that you want. As you can see, mine is uh, slightly, not quite as thick as standard mayo, which is my preference. Um, so this was a good place to stop for me. You may want to go further and feel free to do so until you reach the consistency that you really want. Once we reach that consistency, we can add the spices. Um, I'm add adding the juice of a lemon because honestly, I forgot to to begin with. But next we are adding some smoked paprika as well as some cayenne powder. This adds some smokiness as well as some spice to our remoulade. After that, we are adding some hot sauce of your choice. Mine is Old Bay hot sauce because it is the best hot sauce in the world. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and blend all that up and uh, do a quick taste test. If it's not quite where you want it, you can tweak it. I'm adding more hot sauce to the mixture until it reaches the desired flavor. 
And this is where we really get into the feel aspect of this recipe. We're not really measuring anything and we're strictly feeling it out until we get to the point we want. Now we're prepping our amberjack. I like my amberjack in about palm size fillets and about a quarter inch to half an inch thickness. Uh, you may vary on how you want it, but, but really I like small uh, manageable fillets such as this. One thing I do like to do is trim out the tail meat. Uh, the tail meat has a lot of tendons and, and is tougher than the rest of the fillets, so I usually cut that out and set that aside. Likewise, I trim out the bloodline and any um, damaged meat, such as uh, where you may have gaffed a fish or, um, you know, amberjacks often have worms, so don't feel afraid to cut around the fish. We're going to be seasoning these fillets liberally with the blackening seasoning of your choice. Mine happens to be Old Bay because Old Bay is, once again, uh, the best seasoning there is. Then we can go ahead and heat up our cast iron and applying a little bit of oil. As you can see, I added a bit too much oil here, but that's okay. You can always drain it and restart. And then we're laying our fillets uh, once the cast iron has reached smoking hot temperature and allowing those to sit for an adequate amount of time. There's no right way to do this. Um, everyone has their variances on their preferred blackening levels. Mine is just a, a light char, and as you can see, we reached that, and we can flip and do the same thing on the other side. Now we're ready to begin plating, so we can plate up our brown rice, add our zucchini, which was roasted about 350 for 20 minutes, and then finally add our amberjack fillets. Once the fillets are added, we can then sprinkle some of our rimlade sauce, and we're done. That is the, uh, in my opinion, the best way to eat amberjack. It's better than frying, better than smoking. Um, it's a really solid way to enjoy a fish that I'm sure many, like myself, don't enjoy all that much. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be creating a lot more content like this and uh, other content as well down the road, so I look forward to seeing you guys around. Thanks for watching.